Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here from the Church at West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. This is the Sunday edition. Happy Lord's Day to everyone. And it is July the 21st, 2024. And we are in Philippians chapter 2, reading the last few verses of this chapter. Paul says to us and to the church at Philippi, Meanwhile, I thought I should send Epaphroditus back to you. He is a true brother, a co-worker, and a fellow soldier. And he was your messenger to help me in my need. I am sending him because he has been longing to see you. And he was very distressed that you heard he was ill. And he certainly was ill. In fact, he almost died. But God had mercy on him and also on me so that I would not have one sorrow after another. So I am all the more anxious to send him back to you, for I know you will be glad to see him, and then I will not be so worried about you. Welcome him in the Lord's love and with great joy, and give him the honor that people like him deserve. For he risked his life for the work of Christ, and he was at the point of death while doing for me what you couldn't do from far away. So that takes us to the end of chapter two. And Paul continues a theme that he started in the passage just before this when he talked about his fellow coworker, his protege, if you will, Timothy. And then he talks about this guy named Epaphroditus. Kind of obscure, kind of just out of nowhere, but he talks about him, and it is it is important that we note what Paul says about Epaphroditus. He's a true brother, a co-worker, and a fellow soldier who almost gave his life for the cause of Christ. Here's my thought for today concerning the, these passages. How do we treat other believers, other co-laborers, other co-workers, fellow soldiers, other followers of Christ. We should lift them up in the highest regard, and we should have true concern about them. You know, it's often said that uh, everyone comes with baggage, no matter who you are. Everyone comes with difficulties, with past uh, problems in their lives. Well, the same is true for followers of Christ. We don't know the battles that each and every follower of Christ has gone through or is going through. And so therefore, we should be extremely aware and concerned about our brothers and sisters in Christ. This very day, you will meet people. You will see people that you probably see every week. It's the Lord's day. You're going to be heading to worship, I pray. And you're going to meet people that have gone through struggles this week as they try to live out their faith. What is your concern for them? How much love do you show them? How much time do you spend in prayer for those people? Paul had this guy, Epaphroditus, and, and he said, listen, he is one of my guys. He is one of the ones that, that uh, when I need to call on somebody, that's who I call on. That's a lot of pressure. That's a weighty job. And friends, there are people in your life that they have those weighty jobs. Let's lift them up in prayer. Let's be concerned about them. Let's understand that we are co-workers, co-laborers, co-soldiers for the cause and the gospel of Jesus Christ in a world that is constantly pushing away from God, pushing away from the things of Christ, and we are in this spiritual battle. So find somebody today. Encourage them. Let them know you are praying for them and that you are there to hold them up. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the words of Paul. Thank you for those brothers and sisters that we have in Christ that are there to help us and for us to help them. 
in this battle that we are in every single day. Help us to lift them up, help us to pray for them, help us to encourage them, and help us to fulfill the call of being co-laborers for the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it's in his name that we pray. Amen. Well, I trust you'll have a super Sunday. Look forward to seeing you at 11 o'clock at West Shore today. I'd like to invite you, if you don't have a home church, come join us at West Shore. We'd love to have you. We are um, in our next installment of our summer teaching series, Sunshine from the Psalms. We'll be looking at Psalm 30, and we'll be talking about specifically the deliverance that Jesus has given us. So join us if you can. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. And may God bless you.